12 ton trucks here. She was up there on the top. Right, they're seeing now they're coming down. There they are. You're famous, you're gonna be on YouTube. Truckers. There they go. Trucker girl on YouTube. <laughs> anyway, we're on the ferry, by the way. A lot of background noise, sorry. We're gonna go look uh, for a uh, head of boat. Anyway. Anyway, we're here on the ferry. We're starting the go get a boat adventure. Hopefully it works out. And if it does, we're gonna drive that boat all the way back here from uh, Cebu City. All the way back uh, around Battalion Island on that end, all the way around there. That's a uh, Virgin Island. So we gotta go between Virgin Island and Battalion Island all the way around the north end and all the way back to Sunset Beach where the boat will live, if we get, which I think we will. So, anyway, I gotta find my wife. She got on here before me before I started chasing the girls. So, don't tell anybody I was looking at the girls. So, <laughs> we'll be back with more. Gotta leave you with a nice shot of something here, like the ocean. And Gila Tagaan Island. There you go, Gila Tagaan Island. That's a remote island, by the way, a fishing island. That's about it. We barely have a road, maybe one road or two roads on that island. And they're just little narrow concrete roads that they built. And uh, no other infrastructure, just some houses. And there you got electric. I think there's a cable that comes from Battalion Island over to there to provide power. I'm not sure. Um, Virgin Island has its own power generation station, but that island is wholly owned by one man. So uh, he's got his own generator stuff. Big, pretty big side power plant for that little island that is just a tourist uh, island hopping destination. So we will be back with more. And see that little bitty boat out there? Is that a little speck on your screen right there? Let me get my finger where I can see my finger. There's my finger right there. A little white speck. That might be us in a few days, so <laughs> we'll see. And we'll be back with more from My Paradise on Mentalian Island. We're going bow shopping. Bye for now. Hey, this, is, this is the adventure here. We're uh, going through the jungle. To, we may go to the beach here. This is a, a little boat here. See that guy? That's a little, like a little 15 foot, 13, 14, 15 foot Cusco there with a small little boat. That's for very small waves and stuff so we're working our way through the jungle this is how you do things here there's always a little jungle adventure and something if you're going to go somewhere if you take the path through the jungle to the back and then you wind up at the ocean we're about to hit the ocean here look at this through the, the jungle to the ocean. And here may be where the guy builds them or sells them or something. Who knows what? He's got a lot of boats here. So, yeah, so here's some boats here. So here's a three cut here. I think this guy builds. That's a, yeah, three cut. Uh, and again, it, there may be some illegalities in cutting trees down for Costco's now. I'm not sure. And I'm not sure if that's just a provincial thing or a or a city thing or what and, you know but yeah we got a lot of a lot of boats here for uh racing yeah, that's a racing boat there that looks like a new one there so they just built that one looks, looks like there's a little tiny boat from the old days this is very low profile here but this is this is really not very tall at all. Like that, huh? Well, that's a little bit higher on the sides. I uh, was a boat like that cost. This got higher side. Look how high the sides are, though. That's really nice. Needs to be a little bit, a little wider, so. If you like pink and you see the bottom of the boat is white, as white as the top. 
so that's kind of nice if you're gonna put storing stuff there in that and uh, they got it covered with this piece of tin roof to keep it dry inside so uh, there's the engine mounting brackets if you can see I can't tell I got my sunglasses on it's really bright on the screen right now but right there there's the shaft why the, the engine the set up here for the uh, rudder the steering uh, that's the boat what's the price of this Vila. Nobody knows. Nobody knows how much this boat. It's almost okay if it was wider at the top. That'd be nice. But the sides are going straight up and down, not angling out to give you a little more width. But honestly, that would work. And I think this is like a GI tubing here. This is not uh, not uh, bamboo. Fourteen, huh? Yeah. Forty thousand pesos for this boat here, without the engine. Yeah. See, I can build my own for that price, though, exactly like I want. So, yeah. But that's about what they're, they're going right at. How how long is this? Yeah. What's the length, honey? What's the length of this boat? What? What's the length of this boat? Twenty-two feet long. So that's a twenty-two foot boat for forty thousand. I can build an eighteen foot Costco for forty thousand. The style that I want. Even though this is not bad. Not crazy about the pink, but I'm sure my wife pink is her favorite color <laughs> the, anyway it would really be a big enough boat to do a lot of the things that I want to do let me see I'm gonna see how heavy it did it I'm try to pick it up, pick up the front and see how heavy so I'm gonna shut the camera off because I use both hands to see if I can pick it up see how easy it is to move these are lighter than boats with Costco's by the way Costco's are heavy tree trunks I mean it's a big you know heavy thick three or four inch piece thick piece of wood 18 feet long so I will be back with more looking at boats on Cebu Island from my paradise on Bentayan Island bye for now does the price include the in, in engine yeah it includes the engine 15 horsepower oh really what's the brand Como Como gasoline High speed? High speed? Or low speed? High speed or high speed? High speed, gasoline. 40,000. Where's the engine? Can we see the engine? Okay, we'll go to their house now and look at the en engine. Uh, he, he can start it? Okay, so anyway, there's the ocean there, so we're nearby. So we'll be, and uh, he's got the propeller and shaft and everything? No, 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 completo, no, 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 Okay, well, we're going to walk back here and I'm going to shut the camera off because you've already been through the jungle once. So we'll be back with more jungle adventure. Shopping for boats on my paradise on the you know, Bye for now. All right, everybody, this is the engine that uh, comes with that boat. It's a Sumo Rado, which is actually used for the racing. Uh, the Sumo Rado, the 15 uh, horsepower uh, gasoline engines they use for racing. He's got to get the carburetor. I guess he's cleaning it or something. I checked the oil. It's really clean. So it doesn't look nasty or nothing like that. <laughs> They're kind of wiping it down. They say everything's new, but new could be six years to any, not really, but it, it doesn't look that bad. It, it just setting in, you know, don't keep them in a sterile environment here or anywhere else in the world. You know, somebody's garage under a table is where they, you know, like, like, supposed to.
Alright, what is this here? Is there a gasoline line? Is this the gas line? <laughs> so he's going to put the carburetor on. They took the carburetor off. Yeah, and he asked him how come the car rubber rafter was off. How, how old is it? How old is it? How old is the Mowudu? Is my question. They don't answer the exact question you asked. They'll, they'll tell you a story about the answer and then you gotta figure it out. Oh, six months. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and then they would use sing this for what? I mean, what did they use this motor for? And what what boat was this motor in? Oh, a different boat. Yeah. Yeah, and that boat how how had that boat's been in the ocean before? Yeah, 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 what, yeah, what size uh, propeller is correct for this? Yeah. So eight and a half inch propeller is they're saying is the correct size for this one. So they've got the carburetor on almost on. It's all rigged up with fishing lines and stuff like that for the throttle. The looks like the gas line is off. So the boat's kind of interesting. Not really crazy at all about the pink color, but you know that's just a, a tropical thing. <laughs> People use all these uh, colors. <laughs> no, that's fishing line. <laughs> yeah, that's fishing line, right? Oh, and, then it, and then they wrapped it around a, a shaft and got it hot for, with heat, honey? Oh, okay, so that's how they make a spring. Okay, I'm going to have to do something uh, interesting there to actually make a... get a, some kind of a spring. But the beauty of that is it doesn't rust, so... Okay, it's going to be loud. There they go, circling the in engine. And then to turn it off, what do you do? How do you turn it? How do you turn it off? Oh, just let off of the gas. Okay, is there a choke on on here? Okay, so you have to pull that. Tell me, start it. So that. Okay, so I can see how hard it is. So if it's too difficult.
There's a fan inside there, yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Air filter? No. Air filter? No. 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 Well, because you're in the ocean, there's no dust. Yeah, honey, can you put a, a motorcycle muffler on here? Oh. Yeah, you can put that. Okay, do, can you, do, do they have somebody that can do welding and, and put one on? Na ba daw kuno mo mo buhat diring na mo welding no there's nothing here. Okay. Okay, but tell him my friend on Bentayan Island has a well is a expert welder. Okay. Okay. And then how far can you go on one tank of gas? How many hours will that run? Ang usa kana puno na siya ko ya pila asa dak pila ka ko ano ni byahe. Kana tanke. Wa tulong rak so good. So good. So good. You need to add another. Yeah, is that one gallon or more? Seven liters. That tank is? Yes. Seven liters to tank? That's a seven leaf to tank, honey? Yeah, that's what he said. Seven. Yeah, to Lora Opat. Why? Oh, that's the one that was the Oh, there is an MG in, in carbon. Yeah, honey, that's just MG in carbon. And that's the company that they bought it from. Okay. 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 Okay, and, and this engine has this engine been in that boat before? Yes, the 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 been in that boat before. Okay, and I forgot to the answer. Has the boat been in the ocean before? Have they drove the boat in the ocean before? Very tempting. I don't know which way I want to go. It's in the water when they go, when they try, and then that's it. And that's it. Okay, so so the engine lines up with the propeller shaft. So there's, a, the, 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 yeah, there's no adjustment needed. Okay. Okay, well, let's go look at the boat again. Let me go look at the boat again. Yeah. I'm back. That's a 15 horsepower. It takes a little bit of a pull, but really not too much to start it, so... Uh, you know, my diesels are electric starts, so I'm cheating. And uh, they got their own springs and stuff, so. Okay. So we're going to. Let's go look at the boat again. So we'll be back. We've got to go back through the jungle, so we'll be back through the jungle. Going to the boat. And bye for now. Hey, everybody. We're going to see if we can go for a test drive. So they're bolting this engine in here. It's just got four bolts, and you just bolt it down, basically. Yeah, excuse me. Let's see. Mm -hmm. You have to reach under the under the engine to feel where the bolts are. The bolts are embedded in the uh, wood that's going across with the cross brace. They got the bolts and stuff, and, and they keep in the oil thing so they don't lose. The, oh, that's the tool bag. That's the tools in the oil thing. You got the wrenches, and they're gonna hook up the uh, throttle. There. And the throttle goes to this little piece of wood over here. I'll show you that in a minute after they get this hooked up. Thank you.
they put a sardine can over the muffler so water doesn't get into the engine. Well, they're also, they're greasing the, you know, the propeller shaft. That keeps the water from getting in the boat, from coming in through the propeller shaft, because the propeller shaft is under the water, water obviously, where the outlet is, and the inlet is in here still, pretty much below the water level line. So they're sliding it through. You gotta lift it up. Raise it up some. Yeah. So they're going to grease it some more. That guy there is going to add some more grease to the shaft so that as they slide it in, it packs it good. And here comes the propeller. And then they uh, put like a universal joint or something on that. Yeah, it lines up nice and straight. They got to do the fine tuning on the engine now to get a nice straight connection in line with that so they got it pretty straight there it naturally kind of lined up straight so that's nice so we may get because the bottom of this boat is so wide here we may get a, a couple of little uh, white those little foreign plastic chairs and put in here just to sit in here and drive so we're not sitting on a hard piece of plywood bouncing in the ocean all the way. Although those little chairs might break, so I got to get a, a pretty expensive chair, plastic chair there that's kind of heavy duty, so it doesn't crack and I don't land on the, the bottom of the boat. He's preparing the throttle cable line here, right there. Go down. See where we can see it. Got a little hole there, and I think a little tension screw that you tighten the, down on the uh, yeah, yeah. Amount of fishing line. Or maybe he's doing a loop, maybe he's doing a loop, I don't know. Looping it on there. They know how to do this stuff because they've been doing it their whole life. There's a, there's a, they're getting the, uh, uh, the shaft there lined up. Because the, the key on, on the shaft has got to line up with. Oh, uh, see, it goes around that little wheel there. And that pulls on the grass. There's the hole on the side of the boat where the fishing line comes through and it ties on here and this is a little bit tight so as you turn it, it stays there. So that's your cruise control. Let me get this thing ready. Yeah, yeah, can you move so I can, there you go, now see. The line comes around here. This ties it on this thing. Put the little line on there. Wraps it. Puts a double double whammy knot on that thing. Look at that. Now boom. Pulls it tight. And that way, as you turn the thing, it cranks the gas on the motor. Pretty fancy, huh? Yeah, it's working. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What's he doing now? They call this thing down into the ocean. <laughs> Boys and girls. We're gonna do a drum roll here in just a minute. Here they go, heave ho. And again, this boat's pretty light. I can lift up the, Lindy can lift up the front of that. If I lift the back, it's too heavy for her. Of course, she's just a girl, weighs 50 kilos. Yeah, yeah, they have the plug in the drain. Yeah. So here goes the nose is under the water. Nose is under the water. Okay. Huh? 
begin. Uh, oh no, no, I, I don't drive. Somebody else drives. Who's who's going to drive? He's driving. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just ride. I don't drive. That's not my boat. Yeah. So you can see the boat leans, but that's that's how the three cut. Or that's a four cut boat there. Uh, do they they don't really uh, drag their outriggers in the water to except when they turn. And they just use them to keep the boat from, uh, you know, doing too much leaning. <laughs> Waiting for some shoes. It's a, some wild, wild shoes. Waiting in my saw was going to get some some shoes. Yeah. Huh? I can walk on here? Well, I can take my shoes off. Take off the shoes. My wife went to the uh, car to get the. Uh... Actually, I can just get in here. Oh. So everybody's pretty excited about the. Uh, uh, so anyway, I'm going to wait for the shoes to arrive and we'll be back with more from my parents in Italian Island. We're going to take a test drive. Bye for now. My wife's getting in. I'm in. You can sit there, honey. Right? You can sit there. You should be facing, face that way. That's, that, that's the front. Yeah, honey, turn around. Yeehaw! Huh? Yeehaw! Hey, let's see the water line here. We're about six inches up. But we still got quite a bit of uh, water. Uh, quite a bit of dry. Dry hole here. Okay. I'm putting on our hat too. Okay. Okay. Have to move. The nice thing, the bottom of this boat is flat, and you can stand here. We're gonna start her up. One, two, three. Get the engine ready. I don't know if we're gonna get a choke because this thing takes off right when you start it because there's no transmission. He hit the th throttle. We got ocean in front of us. He's gonna start it. He got the throttle set. Doing. Uh, what's he doing? A little choke. Getting the uh, compression going. There we go. All right. We're talking about boating now.
we survived. There's the uh, captain, no, Capitan. He's, he's working the throttle and stuff from the, underneath there. So anyway, we're back at the stairs. Hey, come here and get in. Huh? Honey, what do you say? Yeah, 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 we can't go far. <laughs> Oh, it did fast. It's uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, honey, ask him when he went as fast as he went. Was that full speed or was that half speed or what? Full speed na tayo muhang sa pagkina ko sa when when he, half speed or half speed kahon sa lang ko Half speed na to. Half speed. Oh, okay. Yeah, I uh, know that's good. That's what I want. Yeah, and we were doing 21 miles per hour, honey. <laughs> At, at at half speed so we topped out at 21 so full speed this thing might go 30 40 miles an hour yeah 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 honey give me my shoes yeah so anyway we're back we've landed i'm gonna put on my shoes because i'm a tenderfoot foreigner i can't walk on those rocks like they can of course they got flip-flops on too but even that, that yeah well give me the shoes Okay, we'll be back. I'm going to put on my shoes. Bye for now. Right. It was a good test drive. Sucker hit 21 miles an hour at half speed. But I could tell the props it felt sounded like it was cavitating. You'd hear the engine rev up, uh, but the speed didn't increase. So I think that propeller's too small. Look at that. The engine. That engine's a good engine. Oh, yeah, 15 horsepower. We were going 21 miles per hour at half speed yeah it's very fast that that boat can go fast yeah. okay so what are they going to do are they going to put the boat in, uh, back now are they waiting for help huh? yeah so that takes four men huh here they come, carrying the boat. Maybe I gotta get out of their way, honey. Look at that. So anyway, in my opinion, that prop is too small. It was uh, cavitating it. Uh, once you got above like 16, 18 miles per hour. It started uh, cavitating. You could hear the engine rev up really fast, and the boat didn't increase speed. Uh, it took a while to really I increase speed, but they don't know that stuff. They have no idea. But uh, pretty nice boat. I mean, I don't know. I think I think I'm gonna buy it. I don't know. I'm not telling anybody that, but I think I may buy it. <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely change the colors. Uh -huh. okay. So there she is, back at rest. Okay. Okay, hon, and you ask him, uh, yeah, no, no, is uh, he the owner or who's, who's the owner of the boat? Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. Ask him what the, the best price he'll take for that. Best price, yeah. It's fixed, huh? Okay.